talks about interest rates are weighing on futures. Uh, we have a four-week win streak that perhaps is in jeopardy for both the S&P and NASDAQ. And more fallout from weaker consumer demand hitting another week out of Good morning, Ken. Good morning, Natalie in Tucson. Good morning, Lewis. Good morning, Fisherman. Hey, I like fishing. Good morning, Cannoli. Good morning, Tricia. Good morning, that name. And you, good morning, user. User, you should change your name. Give yourself a real name so we can talk to you. Good morning, Brenda. Good morning, Slots on the Go. Good morning, Kicker. Thank you all for tuning in. My name is Ken Tracy, and this is Coffee with Ken. I am sitting here. I'm in my kitchen in Naperville, Illinois. Good morning, Trisha from Texas. I look like Jeffrey Dahmer. That's the first I've heard of that. Uh, huh. I don't know. I don't know that I really do. Maybe. Uh, what was I going to say? I'm coming to you from uh, Naperville, Illinois. It is Friday morning. It's 8.02 a.m. It is August 19th. Uh, this is Coffee with Ken. I am sitting here. Just brewed up a pot of my pumpkin spice coffee, and I'm excited to have my first cup of it. I don't want to try and lie to you or trick you. Thank you for following. Happy Friday, Jennifer. I don't want to trick you or lie to you. This will not be my first cup of coffee all told, but I'm excited to have this flavor. My morning starts early, and uh, hi, Holly. I got my dog Holly here. I have my son Augie here, and my morning coconut coffee. That sounds tasty. My mornings with uh, uh, both Holly and Augie, my son, can be somewhat chaotic. I'm a little out of practice, I must admit. I'm doing my best. I used to strive for perfection and uh, never was able to accomplish it. So I led a life of frustration and agitation. Yeah, French vanilla is good too, Tricia. Uh, and uh, <laughs> failure. I felt like a failure because I was always trying to be perfect. Again, I got my dog Holly here. She's demanding attention. I just laid my son down for a nap. He had a hard night sleeping. I got CNBC talking to me a little louder than I wanted to be talking to me. Uh, again, I just don't know that I feel like giving my dog all this attention all the time. Not this morning. I love her to death. But between my... Uh, Little son, Augie, who's 15 months, who needs bed, who needs his diaper to change, and who needs everything. And having uh, uh, Holly here expecting, uh, I just changed, I turned it down. I don't know if I changed it. Hey, I'm going to light my candle. You know why? Because I think that's a good rule of life, to light the candle in your life, to live for the moment, to uh, not save things for some random future day that may or may not ever happen. To enjoy the moment and I just lit the candle. So uh, I hope wherever you are, whatever you're doing for your day, Holly, come on, uh, that you too light your candle in life, whatever that candle may be for you. And I hope you got a nice hot cup of coffee in front of you as well. Cheers to us. Oh, I can't deal with the guilt. I'm putting Holly on in the backyard. She wants to go for a walk 24 hours a day. I love my walks with Holly. I love my dog, Holly. Come on, Holly. Come on. Come on. Go on out back. She thinks she's too good for uh, a fenced backyard. Or she doesn't think she should need to go to the bathroom unless I'm walking her. And I'm trying to teach her. <laughs> when you gotta go, you gotta go. But she doesn't seem to get it. Cheers, Tricia. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. Uh, thank you all for joining. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, what are we doing? We got a decent crowd tuning in today. It's Friday morning. How old is Holly? She's four years old. She's an English Springer Spaniel. She's probably about 35 pounds, which I think is the perfect weight for a dog. I've had a Labrador before that was like 105. His name was Boo Boo. He was a big ball of joy, big chocolate lab, like a bear. I'm going to have a little more coffee. But his tail would come in and like a whip. <laughs> knocking things throughout my house and it's like a bull in the china shop and uh it's nice having a dog about 35 pounds who's big enough that you can take her out in the wild or out in the forest or what have you and you're not worried about getting eaten by a squirrel <laughs> and uh she's actually a hunting dog i'm gonna turn down my hair a little bit it's feeling a little warm sun's coming in through my window and uh, drinking coffee, and I think I was getting a little agitated because I was a little stressed. Stress is bad. Thank you all for joining. Again, it's Friday morning. Uh, this is a show I've been doing for a long time. It started, and it's changing, and I'm figuring it out, and I'm learning, and I'm getting more comfortable with sucking and being bad. And uh, good morning, Ken. Good morning, Cubs fan Chris. I haven't seen you in a while, Cubs fan Chris. But I'm glad you're here. Thank you for joining. Blueberry Coffee Dream, thank you. Is blueberry a flavor of coffee, Blueberry Coffee Dream? Uh, breaking. I love seeing all these people joining, and I appreciate you. Uh, well, thank you, Tricia. Thank you. Uh, but again, I, uh, I believe I used to think I needed things to be perfect and all ready to go, and I had to have it all just right, and it would cause me a lot of stress. Because uh, invariably in life, uh, things don't go just right. I mean, I've seen so many examples about it. I have so many plans, and I envision my day going a certain way. <laughs> and I don't know, I get caught by a train or in traffic or, you know, you don't get many flat tires. But the flat tire of life throws your plans off. And... Uh, I think, and I talked about it this morning on my video, I might do another one. I do a little morning video. It's three minutes long where I do my first cup of coffee. It usually happens at 5.30 or 6 in the morning. And uh, I'm going to get some pillows, get a little more comfortable. Wherever you guys are, why don't you guys be a little more comfortable? If you can get 5% more comfortable, wouldn't that be better? Let's both do it. Um, what was I saying? I don't even know what I was saying. Oh, uh, yeah, I do a little uh, coffee show every morning, and uh, <sighs> I'm separated from my wife. We're probably getting a divorce. Uh, we have a beautiful son. His name's Augie. He's six months old, and uh, uh, he sleeps over a couple times a week, and I do a every morning show. And when he's here, I have all these rituals, routines, plans, thoughts, the way the morning's supposed to go. And I do my yoga and I make my bed and I brush my teeth and I do this and this and this. And it's a series of things. But when he's here, it all goes out the window. And I was sneaking around this morning trying to be quiet. Uh, shared the line. Hey, Tammy, sh thank you for sharing my life. I don't even know what that means, but I had somebody share my life. Does that mean my live goes on your stream, Tammy, as if you're going live? I so appreciate that. I'd love to get whatever this is in front of a bigger audience because uh, eventually I'd like to do this, whether it's coaching or inspiring or sharing or humor, entertaining or boring the pants off you uh, to do it for a living because I've been doing this show for three years. I'm a realtor by profession. I do fairly well selling real estate. Uh but that, to me, is such a hamster on the treadmill. Always searching for more clients to work for. And uh, uh, and I, although you, you, it's a paycheck and you get nice paychecks and there's flexibility to your schedule, doing this, and I got a lot of experience. Uh oh I heard my son. I might have to go get him. Thank you, Tim and Ashley. Um, thank you. Let's have a little more coffee. Should I get my son? I love him so much. Can you repost live videos? Many mornings I can't be on at eight. Uh, Kim, I appreciate you uh, asking that. I think you can. 
I think you can. I, I don't know. I did one. I did my very first one on June 23rd, and they remember that because it took me six, seven, eight months to go uh, uh, live on Face to not on, sorry uh, to get to a thousand fans. And on June 23rd, I hit it. That allows you to uh, uh, thank you for following me to uh, go live here on TikTok. I love TikTok, by the way. I think it's super fun. <laughs> a lot of people don't like it or politically charged or whatever. But for me, uh, I think it's a great platform to reach a really large audience and to, like, I'd like to have a podcast or a radio show, and I don't know how to do those, but I do know how to go live here on TikTok. And that is, in effect, a podcast or a radio show or whatever. You can put yourself in front of, uh, you know, a fairly large audience. You know, I got 20 people watching right now, and I appreciate all 20. But I flip around and watch some creators, uh, and they got, I don't know, 500 or 1,000 people watching at any one time. Uh, You can repost live videos. I did it on my first. Not many people watched. Uh, I don't know. I may or may not. I don't want people going to my page and finding a bunch. I mean, they already go to my page, and I get a lot of grief. I got people making fun of me and doing imitations of my regular morning show where I go, good morning, good morning, good morning to you. My name's Ken Tracy. Uh, This is Coffee with Ken. It's Thursday morning, April 23rd. Uh, And they do a pretty darn good imitation of me, and it kind of makes me laugh. Uh, But if they had to go see my live videos, replay some of my live videos, they might really never tune in and really get annoyed. So I'm not sure... Uh, what I'm going to do. But again, I'm just learning. I'm just playing. I'm just having fun and uh, doing the best I can. And uh, a few minutes ago, my son, Augie, who woke early this morning, was up a couple times during the night. Uh, I heard him throw his pacifier and land on the floor. and Now he's kind of crying. So I'm seeing if he'll lay back down and get quiet because I want this to be an every morning at 8 o'clock thing. And I'm going to do the best I can to keep it going and uh, do the best I can. And if it involves me being flustered or even at the best I can isn't that good, uh, it's going to be the best I can. And I think we should learn something, not learn something from that, but just know that going forward in life, uh, you can't, you're be- putting your best foot forward doesn't mean it's a perfect foot you're putting forward, if that makes sense. And I love how the steam's drifting by. By the way, that reminds me of habits and smoking. I was out there this morning early with Augie and uh, my dog Holly out in the park next to my house. And there was a woman, nice looking woman, uh, lives across the street from me. And she was just smoking a cigarette and she was wearing a pretty dress and looked real nice. And I was just thinking about habits again. And I can't get coffee. Uh, I don't know what you mean. But anyway, I was just thinking about habits again and how important our... Oh, thank you, Selena. I'll tell you what. Uh, I give these away for people local around... I live in Naperville, Illinois. And I give these away to local people that like my show. Uh, And that's a funny story in and of itself. I'd like coffee with Ken to grow and for it to mean something. And uh, put a smile on people's faces. uh, Because that's what I like to do. I think... I think we struggle for things that we're good at in life. And I hear my son crying. I'm thinking about going to get him. Should I go get him? It'll sure change the scene. I'm going to go get him. You want to come with me? Let's go. Let's go. I might have give him his pacifier. All right, I'll try that. I'll try that. Again, I'll be on tomorrow with Augie. Hey. There's my son, Augie. There you go. Lay that down. See if that works. He needs some more sleep. Okay. Well, Selena, I appreciate it. I uh, have two girls that are older. I have a 13 and a 16-year-old. Uh, they are live with my first wife about 20 miles away from me. Not even 20, 10 miles away from me. And uh, 
Thank you very much, Meredith. He's beautiful. He's a little warm chunk of love. He gives the best hugs. I have him on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. And one of the highlights of my week every week is uh, going to church with him on Sunday morning. I've never been a big church goer. <sighs> but I feel the church I go to is uh, uh, just a real good atmosphere of people trying to be better and be positive and find inspiration. And it almost doesn't matter if you're Christian or Muslim or Jewish or what have you, I think, or agnostic. I don't know. You hang out with good people trying to do good things, you're going to feel better. I had four girls before I had a boy. Such a gift for you as always for me. Oh my God, it's awesome. Uh, again, I think if you hang out with good people, they say you're the sum of the five people you hang out with. You hang out with people looking to better themselves or people looking to do good things or people looking to spread love and joy, uh, you're going to be a more joyous, loving person. And I think we all want to be that. And uh, again, I take Augie every Sunday morning to Community Christian Church here in Naperville. And uh, that is true. You are the company you keep. Um, and he gives the best hugs. It's kind of a new age church, I guess. And, uh, hello. And, uh, uh, they play music and they have, uh, some really, a really good talented musical band and some good, uh, pastors that do their speaking. Uh, but, uh, uh, oh, there's smoke and there's lights and, like the music sometimes I'll get swaying and I'll hold him and he's he'll like give me this warm little hug and he's the sweetest little angel and he gets an embarrassing amount of attention wherever we go and uh, uh, I don't know because whether we're walking down the street or uh, he has Down syndrome by the way and that's an interesting story and I don't, I don't bring it up too too often I mean I bring it up a little bit uh it's just an interesting story because when we found out he might have Down syndrome and he was still in his mama's tummy, uh, whatever, uh, and, 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 uh, uh, I was scared and I was worried. I was frightened. I didn't know what I'd do or how I'd be or how his life would be or how that impact us or how I could be. Uh, he should have an opening theme song. La, 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 la. La 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 la, Elmo's world. <laughs> That's the theme song I think of because when I have Augie over, we listen to a lot of Elmo. <laughs> and we do the happy dance when we learn something. And Augie goes, <laughs> and it's so fun, it's enthusiasm for life. And I mean, it's almost similar. I have a pretty good enthusiasm, or at least I try to for life. And not every day is perfect. And I struggle a lot. And, uh, but I think I smile a lot more than I struggle. And uh, I'm trying to get a little better every day and uh, uh, accept my imperfections, accept me for who I am. Let's have a little more coffee. Oh, and again, just do the best I can. Yeah, thank you. User, you got to put a name on there. I forget your name. Are you Chris? Are you local? I think you're local. I think you're local. I think you might ask which Starbucks I was at. Um, I'd ask all you users, whenever I go to Starbucks a lot, obviously I drink a lot of coffee. I've got a show called Coffee with Ken. Uh, I am a realtor by profession. And well, I got to get you a mug because you seem to be tuning in and seem to be supportive of what I'm doing. Uh, so let's set that up. I'll make, I got a mug in the back of my scooter. I can't ride my scooter today. I'm with Augie. And I have an appointment to get my car checked on. I might be driving Lyft. I've looked into driving Lyft as a realtor. Uh, you have some slow times. And right now it's the slow time for me. And I, the bills keep coming. Uh, life keeps coming. And uh, not only could I use, obviously, we could all use a little more money. Um, but again, just feeling productive is so important for me. When I have a busy day and I know exact not know, because you never know, because you never know what life's going to throw at you. Uh, I feel good and I feel productive, whether it's mowing the lawn or going on a listing appointment or showing buyers or whatever, cleaning my house. But if I'm looking for things to do and trying to find ways to be productive, I can get frustrated. And I think just driving for Lyft, A, I could use some money. Uh, but B, I think it could help, uh, I don't know, fulfill me. 
I like meeting people. I like talking to people. I don't mind driving. I like getting paid. If I'm going somewhere from A to B, somebody wants to hop in the back of my car. I think I'd have fun with that. I bet you I'd be good. I was thinking I'd get a little cooler filled with water bottles and maybe some granola bars, something like that. Protein bars. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I think it'd be fun. Take them on your scooter. Augie or the, 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 have you seen my scooter? Have you looked at my videos? It's not, people think it's a scooter. It's like a two wheel. It is two wheels. Uh, but it's one of those things that you pedal and it's not, it's, uh, 400 cc's. They've, uh, time to focus on work. Take care, my friend. Hey, thank you, Chris. Thank you for tuning in. I'm glad you're back. Yeah, no, it is Lyft. Uh, yeah, no. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that's a legal way to cruise them around. But not a horrible idea. I mean, yeah, some people, you'd probably have high insurance rates. Some people would pay for a ride on a scooter or a motorcycle or whatever. I could teach. Schools are now hiring folks without teaching certifications. Dire need. Kim, I appreciate the thought. I, I don't know. I think I'd struggle. I got too big of a mouth to be a teacher. You got to be so... I coached my daughter's track team last year. Uh, I, uh, yeah, no, I don't know. You got to be, a, I don't know. I hate to say teaching seems so political these days, the educational system, and you have to be so a certain way. And I'm my way. Got to get to work. Thank you, Joni. Thank you for watching. I'm me and who I am, and me and who I am would probably get in trouble in a school. You know? I don't know. I'm a huggy, high fivey, shake handy guy. And I don't know, if you hugged one of your students these days, you might get arrested. And I don't want to get arrested. So I don't know. I think I'd struggle with the confines of a regular nine to five-ish job, to be honest with you. Happy Friday, Laura. Thank you for watching. Thank you all for watching. And thank you guys for following my page. Uh, I think you're, you're helping me live my dreams because this is kind of what I dreamed to do for a career. And I don't know what it would look like, uh, but to talk to people, to be a speaker or something, coach, counselor, teacher, maybe like Kim said. Uh, thank you, Walker. Thank you, uh, Joy, sending me likes. Uh, and you guys following my page. And Selena, I think, Selena, if you're still out there, good call on giving him a pacifier because I gave him his pacifier and he's quiet. He probably was close to sleep. Again, he was up a couple times. I'm For those just tuning in, I got my little son in the other room. Uh, he was making some noise. He was up a few times during the night and was up pretty early this morning. And we were out and about for a couple hours. And... Uh, uh, I think he needs his morning nap. So that's what he's doing right now. And I was talked, somebody talked me into going and just giving him a pacifier. And that's what I did. <laughs> so I'm sitting here drinking my coffee. Out of these nice personalized coffee with Ken mugs. It's going to sound crazy. You would make a great driver. Great conversation. Thank you, Lorraine. Uh, yeah, I think I would. Uh, could give out my coffee with Ken cards and my real estate cards. And if they're real sweet, give out mugs. But I'd be out of mugs really soon. And I don't know, you probably only make five, ten bucks on a ride. I don't know how many. These cost eight. If I give them all out on every ride, I'd be broke. Uh, but I'd feel real good. And I'd have a big smile on my face. I bet you I would give them away to the Trent riders. I don't know, maybe. Um... Anyway, it's Friday. Uh, it's going to be a beautiful day in Naperville. We've been blessed, 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 blessed with gorgeous weather here this summer. Uh, I think I'm just in a more appreciative mood for things. I was talking a little bit ago about habits, and I'd like to finish that. I would encourage you to take on a good habit today. And whatever it is, uh, whatever it is, do pick up something. There's so many things where we're going to do. We're going to do some sit-ups but we're going to start tomorrow or we're going to drink more water. Or we're going to quit smoking next week or we're going to stop drinking next month. Do it today. And again, I saw this attractive woman across the street wearing a nice yellow dress going about her day and she was smoking a cigarette. And I was just thinking, wow, well, yeah, her life would probably be better if she wasn't smoking that cigarette. I know it's hard. 
I know tobacco is a tough thing to break. Uh, but again, if you put in some good habits and you do them over time, your life's going to be a lot better. Uh, uh, yeah, Joy, and it, it doesn't even have to be hard habits. You know, take a minute for yourself every day where you're just sitting there quiet and not worrying, not stressing, not feeling guilty, just appreciating. Um, yeah, I appreciate you trying to tell him he needs to quit, but he needs to know he needs to quit. And I, I quit drinking last October, and nobody told me to. It wasn't for anybody. I am feeling a little bit better. I don't know if it's the placebo effect, uh, but I am feeling a little bit better. I, again, I quit drinking last October. I feel a little bit better. I don't know if it's because I'm not drinking or because I'm proud that I'm not drinking. And the same kind of goes for drinking more water. I wouldn't call it the fountain of youth, uh, but I do, at least in my mind, I feel I'm hydrated when I'm walking and it's hot out and I don't feel, you know, (laughs) chain smokers are an excellent band. Uh... Oh, I quit drinking. And again, I would not have quit if I was doing it for my family or my wife or somebody was nagging me to do it. I did it because I wanted to do it. And it's been really easy. I think if you want to do something, it's easy to quit smoking or quit drinking. Although smoking was challenging. I smoked for about a year and a half. I waited tables for a period of my life. And again, you are the sum of the people you hang out with. A lot of waiters, at least at this time, smoke cigarettes They'd take smoke breaks from work. I didn't want to, I wanted to go take a smoke break. So I'd go sit outside and smoke a cigarette with them. And then I started buying them. And then all of a sudden I'm smoking a pack every two days, which was never the big habit. But for me, as a lifelong runner and healthier person, I was ashamed of it. And uh, uh, anyway, just one day decided I'm never going to buy another pack of cigarettes again. Uh, so I didn't quit smoking. Like I could, I've, I'd smoke a cigarette today if I felt the need. I don't. Uh, but I just have committed to not buying it. And if you don't buy it, you're not around it all the time. And all of a sudden, you know, it was easy to give it up that way. But to cut cold turkey, I'm not good at moderation. I'm not good at moderation. I mean, yeah, Travis, I appreciate it. It'd be great if you I could do it, but I'm just not that good at it. Uh, Paul, you hear that? Take Ken's lead. Hey, is Paul watching? Paul, stop buying cigarettes. You can still smoke. Quitting sounds so hard. <laughs> Quitting, you know, going, I'm never going to smoke another cigarette again. Uh-oh, I just heard the pacifier hit the floor. It's almost been a half an hour. My target talking time is for half an hour. Oh, is he? Paul, you're Cannoli Jones? Uh, okay, well, that's funny. I appreciate it. I'm getting some name. I like Cannoli Jones. What the? <laughs> that's a funny name. I wonder what it means. Uh, but anyway, I, I'm going to be doing this show at 8 o'clock every day. Sundays might be a little tricky because, again, our church we go to is 9 o'clock. But I'm going to do my best. And I hope you guys continue to join me at 8 o'clock uh, every day. And I'm enjoying it. I'm learning about myself, learning about people, learning about my coffee, getting to talk through my issues. And hopefully the viewer, you watching can learn a little bit from my experiences. Like, you know, maybe somebody watching today is going to quit smoking because they heard me say, you can, you don't have to quit. You just stop buying cigarettes. You know, and that that might be an easy bridge to walking away from smoking. Or maybe somebody will quit drinking because they've been trying to quit drinking because their wife or their husband has been nagging them to, that they drink too much. But maybe they're going to go, hey, I want to stop drinking. And that's going to lead them to drink less. Or maybe somebody's going to drink a little bit more water that's dehydrated. Again, I'm trying to do good things in my life. And I'm sharing it with you guys. And I'm hoping you guys run and join me uh, on my little adventure called life. Because I don't think, I don't have any goal that I want to get to 190 pounds or be able to bench press 250 pounds. But I want to get a little better every day. And part of being better is drinking more water. 
not drinking alcohol, just doing little habits. And I'll share them with you as I go along and doing our best. So uh, I'd encourage you to do your best. Um, you don't have to be perfect because we're never going to be perfect. Um, uh, so give up that goal and try and get a little better every step. And when you're stressed and when you're overwhelmed with life and you don't know what to do, because uh, I feel that way from time to time and I try and focus. Thank you, Van Helsing. I focus on the next step. And instead of me having to figure out the answer to life, I go, well, the next thing I'm going to do is take a sip of coffee. Mm, I'm going to go put the coffee cup in the sink. Mm, I'm going to get in the shower. Mm, I'm going to take Augie to where we're going to go. and Just step by step, uh, always trying to move in a positive direction. And uh, thank you so much, Joy. Always trying to move in a positive direction. Uh, you'll end up getting there. So I'm going to leave you with that. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for those that have followed my page. Thank you for those that have sent likes or diamonds or gifts. Or, and I don't even know what those mean, but I enjoy it. I appreciate you. Join me tomorrow at 8 a.m. live uh, for Saturday morning coffee with Ken. Um, follow my page. Uh, hope you learned something. Hope you got something. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> it's sometimes hard to... And that.